Good morning, everybody. 1st of April, 2020, day 6 of the lockdown. And you'll notice I'm not in the church building, but outside, in the garden. Beautiful day. Birds flying around, sunshine, blue skies. And this morning's devotion is a reading from 2 Samuel chapter 22, reading from verse 31 and 32. And it's David's song of praise to the Lord. He writes, As for God, His way is blameless. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? The word that stands out for me here is the word flawless. And it's a word that's not often used in today's society. Many years ago, jewelry shops used to advertise the flawless diamond rings that they had. And in reality, diamonds are never flawless because of nature's extreme and unstable conditions of heat and pressure that form them. Even the ones that appear to be beautifully clear to the naked eye actually have imperfections that can be seen under magnification. So things aren't always as they seem. And perhaps we're pretty much similar to diamonds. No matter how polished we appear on the outside, it's inevitable that everyone has been flawed to some extent by life experiences, often inher inherited from unstable, pressurized conditions. Like Adam and Eve, we suffer the effects of our own willfulness and even allow it to affect our world, putting it under constant pressure. The realities of global warming and fears brought by diseases, for example, the COVID-19, conflict and poverty are daily reminders of our imperfect, imperfect condition. Deep down, we know we need help. Let us look at what is perfect. Our verse tells us that God is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. His word is flawless and His integrity shields us because we can trust its truth. When we're in need, we can find Him in the pages of His word and, if we are willing, his Spirit will speak to us, instruct us, and lead us wisely and kindly through it, with the power to transform our thinking, our hearts, and our lives. The more we engage with the Bible, the more we become aware of how great His power is as Creator of the universe, how balanced His perfect love for us is as our Heavenly Father. This feeds our hope and allows it to grow, exponentially. I can still remember the exhilaration I felt the day I realized that God is perfect and there is nothing too hard for Him. The worth of His perfect blessings in our imperfect lives is priceless. They are a true gift because of who He is. This month is the month of Easter and it's a perfect time to reflect on God's perfect ways and to reach out to Him from where we are in our lives. James writes, draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. So, precious Father, we stand in awe of your majesty and might. We delight in your perfect ways and flawless word. Help us to grow more and more in our love for your word, and more and, and in appreciation of your love for us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you this day. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you. Amen.